Hello, and welcome to this video on CRISPR, a novel DNA modification technique that has gained greater attention in the last couple of years. This video will explain what CRISPR is and why it has risen to the fore. CRISPR is an acronym, much like SCUBA or LASER. It stands for Clustered, Regularly Interspaced, Short, Palindromic Repeats. It is a term which covers a wide range of differing techniques for genetic modification. It also comes under the name of CRISPR slash Cas9. It is a pinpoint specific method for targeting and changing gene sequences. It is comparatively low cost and simple when weighed against the more established methodologies. The history of CRISPR is interesting for several reasons. It was discovered in several places simultaneously. This impacted on the Japanese, Dutch, and Spanish inventors as far back as 1987. This was gradually refined and became what is now known as CRISPR. But that is not the whole story. It became even more complicated from 2012, when an American research group published a major article. This was one of two to occur within a relatively short window of time. From this, different scientists qualified for a patent on it. This was concluded on American soil with a US Patent Office decision, which is described in a link below. Internationally, it is even more complicated. Other than a legal mess, what is CRISPR? It is a system that works through a bacterial immune system feature which normally cuts foreign DNA into tiny pieces and then ejects them from the host cell. This would keep the bacteria alive in its normal usage. This process of cutting up DNA has been harnessed for genetic modification. In practice or a lab setting, trying to complete genetic modification with every cell in a complex organism would be nearly impossible. For this reason, CRISPR is normally used at the earliest stage possible, such as a single cell or similarly small number. The process for doing so is roughly as follows. First, the cell is opened up through changes in the isoelectric point, through electrocution, acids or specialised chemicals. Other methods include needles, capsules, vesicles and more, each one beneficial in particular circumstance. These deliver the CRISPR process into the cell's inner nuclear membrane. The CRISPR unit has two key parts, one being the Cas9 enzyme. This acts as a pair of scissors which cut out a section of DNA but only on one side. This Cas9 unit is guided to the site by a chaperone molecule that matches the target gene sequence, almost like a jigsaw puzzle piece that can only fit in one location. This creates a guided system that searches for its homing site. It then fits like a lock and key. Normally this would be something to the effect of 20 bases, much like that used for PCR procedures. This chaperone unit is made from RNA. After the chaperone molecule binds the Cas9 sections out the DNA target, this can happen because genes have specific sequences that are unique overall. They may occur within a larger sequence, but using customized lengths, each one can be matched in such a way that the chaperone can only work with one site. Now the genome has a missing section of DNA, which left unpatched would lead to it being filled with complementary sequences, which match the opposite side of the helix strand. That would undo all the work so far. Now for the true trick of CRISPR. The chaperone also serves a second purpose. It has a second section of RNA built in. That second section is the desired new sequence. It sits just inside the right location for the cell's DNA repair machinery to recognize it as a valid nucleotide to copy. More accurately, it uses it as a template to copy DNA from. This then allows the section that has been cut to be ignored. It is therefore replaced. The new sequence is copied and built into the DNA strand. Whilst it is open in this way, 
the complementary strand is also updated to match the new sequence and allow the two sides of the helix to combine once more. In later periods of cell repair, this will then be carried on and passed on to daughter cells. This entire process can be used not only to replace genes, but to make them defunct, which is known as silencing. Create nonsense mutations so that it cannot express, or a variety of other known mutation types. It also has a place in creating an exact genetic copy of genes in an animal model of disease, something time-consuming and expensive in current animal models. CRISPR uses the innate qualities of cells and the immunity that normally fixes mutations to lead to things like cancer. CRISPR can be used and has been used to treat heritable conditions or those arising from mutations. A link to current CRISPR trials is in the description box below. As a further bonus, some of the scientists who are involved with the discovery have been recognised. One, Professor Virginius Sickness of Vilnius University received a $1 million award, and there is rumour of a prospective Nobel Prize for the other researchers who have been involved. Thank you for watching this video. Please post any comments, questions or suggestions you may have below.